Hello FPV fans, it's Parrot Scan Fly here and today we are building a tiny loop for my next racing season using Beta FPV 5 in 1 IO. The new Air IO that's supposed to be very light and help your whoop fly very fast and for longer time. We are starting with the pigtail. As you can see, the pigtail can be a very nice safe of wave because if we will cut the pigtail that it will be shorter, we can save some wave. And this little amount of the wire will save us about 0.15 grams. So it's quite a lot if you add all your wave savings, the whoop can be very light. If you are doing with the tiny whoop wires, the best tool for removing uh, the isolation are your nails. You won't damage the wire and you will remove the isolation with no problem. You need to remember the rule round this ground when you are connecting your pigtail to your IO. It's very important because if you will make the wrong connection, you will burn out the IO. Very important thing uh, to save some wave is making your custom pigtail with this 180 degrees uh, connector because the pigtails that come from Beta FPV can be a little bit heavier and I will show you the difference uh, in this video. Uh, the way that I will connect uh, the pigtail is by putting the wire inside the connection and soldering from the other side. If you have any flaws or if you remove not enough of your isolation, you can cut a little bit more so that you will be sure that there will be a very good, nice connection so this current will be able to go through all of your whoop with no losses. And here you will see the differences between the wave. The original pigtail is about 0.10 grams heavier and it's shorter. I left a little bit too much of the wire here so I would be able to save 0.1 gram more even if I will be more precise in cutting the pigtail. Remember to use your flux when you are soldering and to pre-solder your wires in the pigtail it will make the transfer of heat easier and it will make the soldering and soldering connections easier. You can use uh, this type of glue of paste uh, to put your eye or to put to put your pigtail so that it will stay in one spot. It's very convenient uh, when you are uh, soldering your tiny whoop or any other whoop. As you can see, I'm trying to make a good insert of this pigtail so that I will have no problems with it moving during the sold soldering. As you can see, Video taping this type of work can be quite easy and you can see my hair as well. Here you can see the quality of the connection. I'm trying to put the pigtail inside uh, that the isolation will be the nearest possible place to your board. And a little bit, of course, of the flux, because it's very important when you are soldering. And we are finishing our beautiful pigtail, making sure that nothing will stand against us and making our whoop. Unfortunately, this is a very precise soldering, so you'll need to have a little bit of practice so that you will solder it in right matter. You need to remember, I'm not a great expert in soldering, in soldering, but as you can see, the connections are made quite nicely. Now it's the hardest part of making this tiny whoop build work. It's putting this little rubber gummies 
inside of the holes that are in IO. And everybody has their own way, the, their own methodology. In my opinion, the best way is to put a little bit of rope, a little bit of wire, uh, and try to use it to put the gummy inside those, those holes. But it's it can be hard and you need to try not to bend the board because it's uh, 0.8 millimeters thick, so it's quite, quite fragile board. And now the antenna. Very important thing to do and as you can see, uh, it's quite precise soldering uh, as well, but this uh, antenna uh, is lightweight and thanks to that our whoop will be also lighter. A little bit of flux as usual because this is the most important thing in soldering. We need to put the flux and after we will put the flux the very very important little spot getting hit by the heat and here you can see the quality of soldering it's beautiful it's great the next thing we are preparing to solder all of our engines all of our motors and i preflux the parts where i will solder the nice thing in this IO is that the plugs uh, for the motors are quite big and uh, there is not a big problem to solder the motors to those plugs. This board doesn't have their own JEC connectors, so you need to remember if you are trying to buy this board, if you want to fly on this board, you will need to solder your little motors. And here I show you in this magnification how you should solder. You should enable this our soldering that the, the plugs will all be covered uh, after soldering so that we'll have a very, very nice connection and awful thing to solder the awful uh, Parts for our camera that are really tiny and they can make a little bit of problem when you are soldering them so you need to, you need to be cautious uh, you need to uh, watch out to so that you won't make the sh short circuit here is our camera I will twist it a little bit so so the wire will be stronger and uh, there won't be any problems after heat or crashes. And the beautiful process of soldering our motors. As you can see, uh, it's really easy to solder them thanks to those big plugs. You just need to remember to get those shiny connections. If they are shiny, if they are looking like silver, you are happy and you can be sure that the motor won't get away from your whoop while you are flying and crashing. We'll use the Beta FPV 65mm air uh, frame. This frame uh, is quite nice due to the, its weight, but you need to remember that this frame is a fragile frame. And if you crash a lot, you can consider buying the normal, the regular frame. It is much more harder uh, and resistance for the crashes. Afterwards, we will use the canopy uh, that will keep your camera quite high on the whoop. Uh, I use this canopy, it's Bribe Brain or something like that is the name, but it has a little problems and uh, I will show you the problems here because the legs of this canopy tend to break when you are crashing 
and I designed my own version of this canopy that's quite shorter and the front leg is uh, is a little bit bigger and thanks to and the canopy is a little bit lower and in further videos I will show you the canopy and it's a little bit lighter and uh, a little bit more resistance. This is my custom uh, UFL antenna. Thanks to all the modifications that I've made for the antenna, it will be lighter. And here you can see the weight of the whoop is 15.93. I think that if I would make a shorter pigtail and use uh, and cut a little of those bars uh, in the whoop, I would be able to go around 0.4 grams uh, lighter uh, even with this build. And here you can see how this build flies. You need to remember that it isn't pit tune. So this is quite important thing because uh, after I pit tune this whoop, I must say it's fly uh, much, much better than you can see on this video. This whoop is very fast. It is able to make tight turns and uh, and I think it will be great for the racing. I use uh, Beta FPV 27 kV motors, but the second edition, the blue ones, the lighter ones, but in this build, I consider as well to use the, the version on uh, ball bearings because I think that it will enable this whoop to fly even smoother. The important thing is that it will be a little bit heavier, but I think that I will be able to save some wave after modifying the length of the pigtail and cutting the bars in the frame. So to sum up, I need to check the resistance in this whoop and you need to consider one more thing. It's flipping the IO upside down uh, because after some flying and after some crashes, the, the whoop is resetting after a harder crash. And I'm a bit afraid that ELRS receiver uh, got damaged a bit and that would uh, show that quite a smart uh, idea is to uh, to flip the board so that the ELRS receiver will be more protected or maybe try to design the canopy that will also connect in the uh, in the back spot uh, of the screw uh, place in the wood. I hope that you enjoyed this English video. If you would like me to make more English language video on this channel, just let me know. And what we'll do.